All right, pretty excited about these. Just just arrived here. I'm gonna go plant them uh, rather quickly. Just wanted to kind of put a video out there before I get in them and and use them. Yeah, <clears throat> just a kind of a quick uh, initial review on these. Uh, just kind of right out of the box and whatnot. Yeah, I'm pretty excited about these. My first uh, Asics shoes uh, that I'm ever gonna play in. Uh, that was uh, pretty much the only reason why I went with these because. Um, just because of the brand, just so I could have that experience, you know. Um, it's not easy getting any sort of ASIC shoes here in the States. You know, you have to pretty much order them from, from eBay and they come all the way from, from Asia, Japan or wherever. And so they're just not easy, you know, take a while to get here and the price is rather high. These I picked up on, on Amazon. You know, they, they don't have very many selection at all, to be honest with you, when it comes to sizes. So this one I got pretty lucky on. So I kind of wanted to, to try it out. Uh, these are older boots, I think from maybe 2014 or so, 2013. So they're gonna be, they're not the newer newer uh, models of the boots. This is the A6 X, uh, DS, DS Lite X-Fly 1s. This is the, the synthetic, not the kangaroo leather. Uh, so yeah, I'm pretty excited to, to try these and, and wear them. My first initial thoughts, they feel super comfortable, no issues with that, put them on, they feel snug. Um, they're probably a little bit like in this toe section, a little bit longer than, than normal. So I probably could have gone maybe another half size down just for this toe box, but the tightness of it is, is fine. So it's like, this is a nine and a half. It's probably the same size as maybe a 10, right? Uh, but yeah, it's pretty, pretty awesome. Uh, the texture of it, it's just a, a smooth upper here, you know, definitely a, a synthetic, like a synthetic rubber-ish type, type feel, you know, super grippy all the way through here. Uh, so if, if that's kind of something that, that you're into, uh, that's, the, that's the sensation that you're, that you're going to get. Um, I think in this time era, you know, like the F50s and whatnot, some of the lighter shoes, the synthetic, were probably all of this same, same type of stuff here. Um, super, super grippy, and then probably when it's wet, a little bit more on the, the slipperier side, in, you know, in a, in a sense, but probably still grippy in the wet. Um, so still pretty, still pretty cool. Uh, the inside has a nice suede right here uh, for your heel, and it is a, a lower, a lower kind of heel as well. So some of the other boots I was wearing, uh, this tip on some of the other ones dig right into my Achilles and I end up getting a, getting a blister right in the middle of my Achilles because this is so, so tall. On this one, it's nice and low, uh, so it doesn't dig in, which is, which is super, super nice. Um, they're rather lightweight. Some of the reviews that I was reading said that this was 176 grams and that was actually wrong in a nine and a half at least. This was, I'll off the weight again, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, 216 grams when I put it on, on my digital scale. Uh, so not 176, I was kind of disappointed in that because I was really like, wow, a boot, you know, that's, that's six, six to seven years old. You know, back then weighed 175 grams, but no, it's 216 grams for this. Um, yeah, everything here, the feel of it's really nice. The texture of it's, it's really nice. You know, it's kind of smooth right in this area where it's kind of rather shiny and then has some texture here. And it's kind of hard to explain really what it feels like. Uh, kind of once you got it kind of pushed in, it does have a little bit of a soft, you know, kind of texture to it when it's probably gonna get broken in. It's probably gonna be rather a little bit more soft. Uh, but yeah, just um, a real grippy, um, really grippy kind of feel to it. You know, just like I've had leather boots that had this type of material right here. Um, like strips of it, which is just for texture and, and grip on the ball. So that's kind of what that what that is. Um, the some of the other texture on here, like the tongue running up through here, and then right on this lining, this feeling is like if you have a 3D, uh, like a 3D picture, and it's like when you put your finger on it, it goes like, zzz, 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 and then when you move it, you know, it has like a it shows the picture. That's the only way I can describe like how this texture feels and perhaps maybe in here, but yeah, this has like that 3D weird material when you're looking at the pictures all the way through here and this and this lining. Um, and it's, it's rather grippy, I guess, but that's the only way I can describe how that texture, how that texture feels. Um, the cool thing about this, yeah, it's gonna be, it's, you know, nobody's gonna be wearing this boot I mean, an, an old boot like that and this particular brand. So it's gonna be uh, rather unique wearing this around. So I'm kind of excited about that. You know, nobody's gonna have this boot. So it's be kind of one of a kind per se. Um, 
So everything about this, I, I really like, you know, the, the looks of it, you know, it's uh, black with like kind of like the, the neon green and then kind of like a, a, a middle, middle ground blue, I suppose, you know, it's not too dark, not too light. So it's just probably your basic blue color. Uh, you know, not a, not like a royal blue or anything, just, you know, a normal, normal blue, I, I guess is the way to, to, to describe that. So for the looks, you know, uh, mainly black boot. I would say the only thing I probably don't like about the boot when it comes to the looks is that what it reminds me of is like a dress, a dress shoe. Like if I just shaved off the studs and wore this around, I could get by with a dress shoe because of how shiny it is. That's probably my only gripe about it is, is that when it comes to look. Um, the inside I, I do like when, it, and also the silhouette, like the inside right here, the silhouette, it looks cool. You know, I do like that look, but from from this angle, the, the silhouette, I'm not really too fond of. It it kind of seems like it has, um, you know, the only way to describe it is like a, a clown shoe, where like, you know, this part of the shoe seems like it's really long um, when it's really not, you know? So it's like, it's not a, a large boot when it comes to your size, but the looks of it has this like elongated, you know, long foot kind of look to it. And that's probably my only gripe when it comes to, to looks, right? And when it comes to the, the silhouette, so. It's like a, a, a negative, say, for performance. It's just the looks of the boot. But when it comes to the inside of the boot, you know, that silhouette, that's that's actually nice. So um, the, 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 the outsole here, the sole plate and whatnot, this is like a, a grippy, rubbery feel um, all through all through kind of the, the back end and through here as well, this, this bit. Yeah, so this all feels like a really grippy uh, rubber feel. Uh, the studs um, down here where it's black, that's that's that grippy rubber. And then these have more of a, they're not quite as, I guess, grippy rubbery as it seems as these are. A little bit more on the on the plastic kind of feel side, you know. Uh, so not quite the rubber grip, but, you know, maybe 50% of this rubber feel is, is in these studs, it seems like. Um, but that's rather, that's rather nice. But... Yeah, so the lightweight of them, you know, 216 grams. So they are lightweight. Um, you know, anything kind of getting close to that 200 gram rating, you know, I mean, that's going to be a lightweight boot. Um, the, the feel of them is is awesome. So I'm pretty excited to be to be trying trying these out. So I just wanted to kind of get a quick review uh, before I plane them, so that way you kind of see what they look like brand new. Uh, the this right here, this is what this looks like, perforated. Uh, red kind of kind of a cool bottom since it's since it's red even though you're never going to see it uh, this right here This is rather grippy uh, Just like a, I guess they're all they're all rather mesh, you know, every single brand seems to be kind of like that But yeah, it's rather grippy So that's kind of kind of nice um, This is uh, th these are made in Vietnam. So they're not even though it's a Japanese Japanese brand uh, this one is is made in Vietnam. So I was kind of had my fingers crossed like oh, I hope they're made in Japan, but uh, these ones, these ones are not, which is which is fine, no big deal. All the all the big brands generally, you know, Vietnam, China, or whatnot. Um, yep, yeah, cool. So I'm really excited to to, to try these on. Uh, be the only person only person out there with them. So I think that's going to be be rather unique. And then just the Asics brands, I, I really like those, the Mizuno's, the Asics, just because, you know, they're they're more rare, and just you're just wearing a unique boot which is i think is just uh you know i, I like that experience of, of having a, a unique boot where no one else is, is really wearing it around so cool i'll make another one kind of let you know the aspects of how comfortable they are when i'm when i'm running and whatnot kicking the ball juggling the ball and just doing doing normal sprints per se stuff like that but the initial review i'm really excited about these boots and i think i'm really really gonna like them super comfortable uh no no complaints whatsoever um, I guess the only thing that I uh, also did notice as well is uh, this seems to be like just kind of walking around. They have made some creases in the in the material in the upper here. So I think as, as time goes by, um, I can kind of see right here, they'll just have creases, just the normal creases from where your foot is from these moving. It'll be indented and, and that's just where the boots will start moving. So this is something else to, to notate. Um, you know, like you'll start seeing these creases in here that... Um, probably look worse than what they actually are just because of the way the material is and the way your foot's moving but cool yeah kind of hope that hope that helps there if anybody saw these on on amazon or just kind of like wondering you know if these were any good i think they're gonna be pretty pretty awesome but i'll do another i'll do the test on them today and kind of get back on a, on a part two cool so have a good one